Okay, we're just going to look at a simple application of using menu screen, screens, which is important in a game. So in this example, we've got one screen here for the main menu and the user just clicks and it goes to the game screen effectively. So I've already pre-written this code. Um, I've just put in a few images inside an asset folder. So the one that's the menu page, which was pretty much this image in the background. That's just a text display to get the click to start here. Um, when we eventually do the game part, I've got a ro main robot and I've got some house objects. So at the moment, you just need one image for your main menu. So what we're gonna do basically is we need to track what screen, is, screen we're on. So I'm setting the main menu screen as screen zero, the game screen as screen one, and we'll have a game over screen as screen two. So to begin with, I need, I'm gonna set that variable var screen, and I'm going to assign it to be on the main menu screen to begin with. Um, in my setup, I've got my create canvas. I'm loading the background image. I'm loading the main character image, and I'm loading the object that the character is going towards, which is to find the house, his home. Um, so then what we want to do is in our draw function, we want to set an if condition. And what it's going to do is if, so double equal, so it's because it's not an assignment, it's saying if the screen is equal to zero, so if it's on the main menu screen, run this menu screen function. Else if it's on screen one, it's on the game screen, run, run a game screen function. So I will need to define what these functions do further down. So I'm calling these functions. I haven't yet said what they're doing. Um, if it's on screen two, then it's going to be running the game over function. Okay, so for my main menu screen, so what's appearing here? Um, I'm calling my background image, which is that robot with the uh, text box. I've then got my text, so I've set that large, and it's just saying click to start. And I've decided to put it a quarter of the way down the Y axis, so height divided by four, and I've put it a quarter of the way along the width. Okay, um, so then that's just getting that to display. So at that stage for function menu screen, since it's starting on screen zero, it should run the menu screen function immediately because we set it equal to zero. So that's set to zero. If screen is zero, it's going to run the menu screen function and menu screen function is down here. Um, at the moment, I've just put a ga my game screen function and I've just put background pink. So I just want to know that something's happening. Um, my game over screen, I would have to then define how I essentially die in the game to get to the game over screen um, and then I've just got text that's going to say game over at the moment. Um, okay so I need a mouse pressed event because I'm just going to use a very simple way of going to the game screen of any, I can click anywhere I don't necessarily have to click click near the text so if I click anywhere it'll go to screen one. So if function mouse for function mouse pressed if the screen is already on zero, so if the screen is on the main menu screen, it's going to start the game. And my start game function, so it's going to run that function. As soon as you see this, you know the open close brackets, that's running the function. Function start game is assigned here and it's saying go to screen one. So this is an assignment. So if that happens, run start game and screen is assigned to one, which is my background pink. So run that, click to start, and it goes to that. Okay, that's all for now. Just make sure you can get um, transitioning between two different scenes.